Hey guys, you here, Ray K.A. Jig Unit. Welcome to some GTA 5 multiplayer gameplay. I'm actually playing this game as I'm talking to you guys today. In this video, I wanted to sort of showcase you my apartment and my garage that I have at the moment with the cars that I have in it and sort of give you guys slight information of what apartment you need to buy and how the garage system works. So, you know, the question is obviously, is it worth saving up for the 400,000 apartment? And the, and the answer is quite simply no, it's not because, you know, you're, you're going to pretty much get the exact same apartment as this, the, uh, size wise. And the uh, only thing you're going to get from the 400,000 one is the view. The view is going to be better when you see the city itself from these windows. Well, that's pretty much it. If you're sort of that type of guy, though, that sort of person that just wants to enjoy the view when you're sitting in your house or chilling here, then by all means, go for it. You know, 400,000. Yeah, I'm not sure. 400,000 is definitely worth it in my opinion. So, you know, save up for the 200,000 one. This one in particular cost me 217,000. There's obviously ones cheaper, but only about, what, a few thousand dollars difference. But yeah, if you check out this painting, right? I was thinking, you know, painting, paintings in this game, all right? So I was thinking, I, I can see, right? You might just think, all right, you can see far, just the plain color here with nice little white effects. But then again, I see five people here. The dude on the left is pretty tall and he's looking at the dude on the right and face to face and they're really, really pissed off with each other. You can see the dude on the right, he's got this evil face, right? You can see his eyes and his mouth and his nose. This dude on the right is real, real pissed off and they're having this sort of a face off, okay? The dude here in the middle, he's quite big, he's, he's quite hench and he's looking at them both, you know, he's really big, he's got a fat head and a huge arm with huge biceps and triceps, you can see that sticking out and he's just we're ready to jump into the fight, okay? And this dude here, in the middle, he's a really, really, he's really, really fat. He gets bullied in school, and you can see his face. He's really, really fat and wide. He's taken up pretty much majority of this picture, and he's quite scared of them. He's quite scared of this situation right here. So, you can see over here, this dude right next to him is hiding behind the fat dude, alright? This dude right here is hiding behind the fat dude on the left, and he's really, really scared. But for some reason, right, He's a midget. He's really, really short and he's a midget. I, c I can just see this. He's, he's slouching down and he's, he's crying. That's pretty much what I get from this image or this picture or this artwork, all right? Let me know in the comments below what you guys see from this, all right? This is what I saw. And I don't know how my mind works, but it's pretty fucked up, all right? So I can see five dudes here with different emotions showing. And you're probably thinking, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's let's keep this going. I'm gonna go straight to the garage, and yeah, let's enter it. So every garage, pretty much every apartment you buy is going to have ten car spaces within the garage. Even the four hundred thousand one, in case you're wondering. So I've got sort of um, how many cars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars in here. I've got one more space available here. So let's start off with the Audi Cabrio. This is the Obey 9F uh, Cabrio Sports. This is the other version of the Obey 9F by itself. This is more expensive and much faster. I haven't actually showcased this. I might actually do it. This cost me $130,000 within the website of uh, sinandrewsautos.com online. So pull out your phone, you can buy it. By the way, if you find any cars like this on the street, you won't be able to uh, store it. It will say that it's too hot for it to be customized if you take it to the uh, mod shop or if you try to take it into your garage it will say uh, it's not your vehicle you've stolen it so that you're pretty much forced to buy any uh, high-end cars like those and like this for example this is a legendary motorsports one entity xf pretty awesome car it cost me i believe seven seven hundred fifty thousand and i fully customized this but not the cabrio or to its to its left and this is the futo i found on the streets of kareen futo i've also fully customized this not sure about the spoiler though and then we have the uh maybach 2 uh, sort of the uh, Mitsubishi Maybachi Penubra. This is the Mitsubishi fully customized. I'm liking this completely, full, completely customized. Obviously, there's certain parts within the cars that I need to uh, maximize, such as the sports brakes and, and transmission, suspension, and whatnot, because those can be only unlocked if you win a lot of races multiplayer. So you, you need to make sure you win those races to uh, get the uh, chance to unlock these. And you don't have to be within the cars to actually get the unlocks. You can use any other cars and it'll count towards a custom car. This is the Kareen Sultan RS, as you know. This was actually one of my first personal vehicles I actually had. I immediately got into one and I wanted to have this because it's quite rare to find and I really wanted one. So this is fully customized and I nearly completed it. So it's fully, fully, nearly completed with its customizable options. This is, as we know, the 
Ben Factor Feltzer or the Mercedes. This is uh, fully customized with its body parts. However, the uh, certain parts need to be customized with the uh, transmission. We got a cheetah here. Oh, by the way, the, the Feltzer cost me, I believe, 140,000. And uh, all these cars here, the Futo and the Maybatsu, uh, it was free, I found on the street. So they got a cheetah here, cost me 650,000, I believe. I put a pearlescent on top of the sort of the purple, midnight purple and it made it look like it's kind of gold. It looks really, really nice, I think. I don't know about you guys, but definitely let me know if I should keep it like this or if I should change it. So that's a cheetah right there, fully customized. Obviously, certain parts need to be upgraded with, with the performance. And then I found the Buffalo uh, sports car. The Buffalo was something that I actually loved because it's a Dodge Charger in real life. And when, it, when you fully customize it, it's a beast, right? It's untouchable. Hardly any scratches will be made on it after many, many crashes. And uh, definitely, I think it's quite one of the fastest muscle cars as we've seen from the top five muscle cars. If you've seen it already, this is actually not customized at all because I actually don't have enough money with myself right now. I've only got 52,000. I'm nearly level 66. So I dashed out pretty much three mil that I had at the start on these cars and fully customizing it. Uh, so I ran out of pretty much uh, money after buying the cabrio so i can't customize that and the rest of the cars that we have and of course we have the maserati or the face lot f660 i believe this is not customized just yet found on the streets thanks to westar he helped me find it and he gave it to me i'm not sure uh, you know I, we've already showcased this in one of the episodes and there's not many parts to it but it's just a really awesome car when it comes to handling uh, so yeah this is pretty much my current cars let me know in the comments below what cars you have in your garage and what's your personal car my personal car at the moment is pretty random i pretty much ride around anything that i feel coming into my mind either the cheetah the entity or the penubra pretty much anything really i'm not really touching the futo not really my top type of car for driving but I just, i'm just keeping it for a novelty novelty item just because it's just the awesome car in general um you know from the previous gtas and i, I also drive the falter quite a lot as well it's a freaking amazing car when it comes to the uh gear change and the sound it makes and how fast it goes a turbo engine it's insane turbo for all the cars within the game if you want to upgrade it is ex fully so expensive man it freaking cost me about 50 grand to 45 grand uh, depending on which car you upgrade and if you want to unlock turbo for your cars you just got to make sure you win those races uh, same for any other performance parts for your car as well but when it comes to the skirts and stuff you can easily upgrade those but yeah, definitely win those races if you're a huge car fanatic. I'm sure you guys do races as that's one of the fastest ways to get money in this game at, at this very moment. As you saw the previous video earlier today, I posted at 10 a.m. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what cars you currently have in your garage. And keep doing those races if you want to make money and get those cars, man. I still have a lot of cars to make. I might actually switch out certain cars in here for more cars from the website. As you will see, I purchased this from the uh, St. Andreas Autos or the other website, Legendary Motorsports. You've got certain cars here. That you can buy, you got the Ubermax Zion Cabrio, which I haven't showcased yet, because that's the Cabrio, it's the sporty version. You've got, you know, you've got this, you've got Lampety fell on GC, I might have to do that as well. John just stretch, I haven't done that yet. And we've got a Bravada Bisson, i got to do that as well. And you've got the Pegasi Batty A01, A A you can actually buy the RR sport version, you can actually buy it from this website. You've got Double C and LCCX, so motorbikes as well. So that that's pretty awesome as well. We've got Legendary Motorsports, what we got here, we got. See these Chameleon Hot Knife Carbon RS, you need to get the Collector's Edition if you want to get that, so you can't really buy those. However, you could get the Elegy RH8. You know actually, I'm going to get this one because it's free, so might as well go for this. Should be... Oh, I've got to replace the vehicle? This is, this is currently stored. Oh, right. Why do I need to replace? No, thank you. What the hell? I don't even have 10 cars in my garage. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Eight, nine. I've got nine cars. It's weird. Uh, let's get out anyway. So yeah, that, that's currently my garage, and you know, uh, left with fifty thousand after spending three mil on them. There's nothing much to spend in the game. Obviously, as you level up, you're going to get weapons, which you need to obviously have money to buy the ammo for it, as you won't be able to replenish it for free. Of course, that you know, that's just common sense. But, you know, there's certain levels where you can get certain things, like such as a level 60, you can get the uh, grenade launcher. This is pretty epic. I haven't got any ammo, ammo for this, but you pretty much aim and shoot and you can just explode shit. Just like the Thumper in Modern Warfare 2, if you're familiar with that, it's like just like a noob tuber. In other words, you've got a level 100 RPGs, which you can buy. That's insane. RPGs, each ammo costs $1,000, so you can get 20 max uh, with a clip. So you get 20000 for that. 
that would be pretty insane if you want to go for some six star police uh, or five star police in the game on multiplayer you've also got uh level 160 you can buy a dildo i don't know why i said that but just in case you're interested in that and you can go up to level uh 200 i believe in this game so it's not 99 like everyone thinks it is is actually 200 so 200 levels so it's pretty much a grind from here on out for me and for a lot of you guys that missed out the opportunity to actually repeat missions to get money fast and experience as well so that's pretty unfortunate for those of you that is pretty shame as well because you know, they patched it pretty early you know rockstar games and whatnot oh one more important thing i wanted to mention is that when you store any vehicles in the garage or when you purchase it as well the car itself will actually have insurance and coverage fully on it there's certain cars that won't be able to have it when you find it on the street so you, what you need to do when you actually take it to the garage you'll get the coverage for it however you need to actually go to the mod shop to get insurance for it but there's certain cars where it's really really expensive such as the entity or the cheetah where you buy it from the legendary motorsports.com where they will have automatically insurance and coverage on it uh default so you don't have to worry about it at all so as soon as you get any car into the garage that will be sorted out for you so you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure the, the cars that you actually find on the streets that you take into the garage, you need to make sure you go to the mod shop and uh, ensure it's just in case you destroy it or you get lost or die or for whatever reason, you know. So, yeah, that's one more thing I wanted to mention about the garage. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what cars you have, as always. And feel free to like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Check it out. Now, good night, peace. Yeah, hey guys, Shiggy here, right here. Yeah, you're Jiggy, and welcome to another GTA 5 gameplay commentary. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can get a lot of money from GTA multiplayer. Now, as of recently, Rockstar released the patch for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3.